What is going on guys? Today I wanted to show you how to do a spider web. So if we look here, I have a basic spider web in the corner. This isn't very advanced at all and I got some basic wind on it to sort of make it look a little bit more lively. Um, this was a comment in one of my videos so I wanted me to make this and this does follow, if I looked at all my past tutorials, you could sort of put this together yourself but I thought I'd show you how to do it in one video. So first thing you'll need to do is you need to get a spider web texture. So I typed in spiderweb textures, scrolled down and to about the second sort of column I thought this one looked really nice. And you're going to want a spiderweb texture that sort of cuts off like this where they sort of go up into where you put corners. Because if you were to use this one, it's just a square, it's cutting off a bit too harsh. So the one I preferred was this one. So spread out onto your desktop and throw it into the engine. There we go. You create your material, and we're going to call that web. Jump into that, and let me move that over here. And just throw your web texture into there. So the first thing you need to do is you need to connect up your base color. Now, if we were to connect this straight up to our opacity mask, and then click your material, go to blend mode, and change it to mask, this is going to cut it out a bit too sharp because it is a black and white image. Where is it? It is a black and white image, so you don't necessarily need to go into Photoshop and make outfits yourself. However, if you look here, it's cutting it off a bit too harsh. So, a way I know, sort of a really cheeky way I know how to fix that is get an add node, holding A and left click, put that into your opacity mask, and changing this value to about, like, so if it's above, it's going to cut it out. It's not going to cut anything out. So, change this value to about 0.3. And this should cut it out a bit nicer. So what this actually does is if we go into here, it makes everything 0.3 lighter. So that means it's not going to cut out some parts of the web that was too dark. And because the value of the black is going to stay below 0.5, it's still going to cut that out anyway. Because it's a mask, not um, sort of transparency. So that should be fine. So the next step we need to do is just put a roughness in. So this is maybe point eight because I don't think it's going to be wet and now we want to make it move we're going to make it move and sort of sway a little bit so let's do this just go up into here and write in wind now the one I use is just simple grass wind this might not be grass but it still works for this and um, get four values here there we go connect all of them up and the settings I have is I have my intensity to one my weight to 0.3, my wind speed to about 0.2, and my additional WPO to about, click on it, to about 0.2. And then we're going to connect this up to world position offset. Hmm. And that should make it sway, as you can see. Then we just got to click apply, close that down. Come to here, we need a plane to put this on. So go into your, um, so UE4 doesn't have a plane. So all you've got to do is go into Blender or Maya or 3ds Max or whatever you're using, import a plane in. And we'll go into plane here and I should be able to find one, there we go. And then just throw the texture you made on the plane. Spider web, stop searching for that. Web, there we go. So now we've got a nice little web here. That might be moving a bit too much actually, but you can just change that yourself in the um, settings I told you to set up. Just change the wind um, intensity down. So then you just put that into the location you want it to be. So you, know, you usually want it in corners, because obviously everyone knows that webs tend to be in sort of like corners. And you can rotate that to however you want. And this could be reused, because um, you could just rotate it and make it look different in every corner. I mean, not, not everyone's going to go up close enough to even notice it's being reused. But yeah, just put it in so that way all your parts sort of stick into the walls. And there you go, you've got sort of a basic web. I mean, I'd actually think put that more rotated. But yeah, you got your basic web. I hope this enjoyed. I hope the guy who asked for this as tutorial sees this and gets to sort of see how to do it. And yeah, this is how you make um, a basic spider web in your UE4 um, project. Again, like I said, this is very basic. This is not too advanced enough to do it. But yeah, they're quite, because spider webs are quite um, small, you don't even necessarily see them unless you're close. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.